There are five elements that you need to look for when choosing your new Wi-Fi router. Get these right, you will get super fast internet, faster Wi-Fi, and your router will last for years to come. So how do you choose the best Wi-Fi router for your home? Well, I happened to tweet that I was upgrading my Wi-Fi in my home and office, and before I knew it, I was holding two routers from Linksys, and they sponsored this video. Look, whenever I review a new product, I wanna make sure that these work in the real world. So I've been using them for a while, and here is how these routers stand up against my five router requirements. This is the Linksys Hydra Pro 6, and this is the VLOP Wi-Fi 6 whole home mesh AX4200. Now, you obviously don't need both, but since they sent me two, well, we might as well review them for you. In no particular order, let's start with speed. When it comes to speed, the Hydra Pro 6 can handle up to 5.4 gigabits per second, whilst the VLOP can actually handle 4.2 gigabits per second. And of course, that's plenty fast for everything from video chat to VR gaming. This is largely due to the fact that both these routers are Wi-Fi 6, and both have intelligent mesh tech. Wi-Fi 6 means high Wi-Fi connectivity speed, and yes, even your Wi-Fi 5 devices work perfectly fine on Wi-Fi 6. The power of intelligent mesh is that these routers are able to handle multiple devices at the same time. The router is smart enough to work out where the congestion is and essentially handle the data around it. This is perfect for everybody's homes because if somebody's streaming an 8K movie in the lounge on the smart TV, whilst at the same time somebody's streaming and I'm in the office trying to get some work done online, the system will just handle all the traffic in a way that doesn't slow down the Wi-Fi, resulting in amazing experience for everyone. And of course, I'm gonna show you all these connectivity speeds shortly so you can see the speed for yourself. Right, next up is the number of devices. Today our homes have way more devices than we used to a few years ago. Besides your phones, your tablets and your computer, you now have smart home devices like security cameras and smart plugs. And yes, all of these need Wi-Fi and usually they kind of need internet as well. So the Hydra 6 can handle 30 plus devices at once and the VLOP can actually handle 40 plus devices. So both of these can pretty much take care of everything that you can throw at them in your home. Now moving along to the most underrated item to look for when buying your router is coverage size. I cannot tell you how many people are super frustrated by their router because they are so focused on the speed, they simply don't think about the area that needs to be covered. So both of these devices will actually cover 2,700 square feet. And for my setup, that is absolutely critical because my office is outside the home, so it needs to be covered whilst the rest of the home needs to be covered at the same time. Again, I'm gonna show you all this shortly. Next up is reliability, and that is non-negotiable. There's no point in having super fast speed if it cannot maintain that. In my entire testing period, being pretty hardcore on my internet usage and internal data transfers, both of these routers just didn't miss a beat. Okay, next up is ease of use. You know, even if you're super geeky like me, not everybody in the family is. So you want a system that's simple to set up, simple to use, simple to maintain. Linksys somehow managed to make the system so that even grandma can set it up at the same time giving us geeks access to super complicated advanced functionality. You know what, let me just show you. All you're gonna do is you're gonna download the Linksys app and just follow the prompts. Setup process takes about three to four minutes from start to finish and that includes creating a new Linksys account and coming up with a Wi-Fi name. I love the fact that I didn't have to go into my web browser, find my IP address, log into the router just to set everything up. That is massive for everyone who's just looking for something quick, simple, and effective. Want to connect to an external hard drive and create your own central storage for your internal network? No problem. Got kids and want to set up parental controls that you can decide when they can and cannot access online and what websites need to be blocked? all doable. You can even set up advanced features like prioritizing devices and port forwarding all through the app with a very simple interface. I love that. Okay, now that it's all set up, let's test those speeds. First up is the Hydra Pro 6 with my Wi-Fi 6 device. I'm gonna just show you that I am connected to this Linksys network. There it is. Now let's fire up the good old Wi-Fi analyzer and see what kind of speed we're getting. The link speed here is 1200 megabits per second, standing really, really close to the router. Cool, let's take a step outside of the office and I am getting 864 megabits per second. 
Now let's go to the most furthest points in the house, completely across the way, away from the where the router is located. What am I gonna get? 108 megabits per second. That is some solid stuff. Okay, back to the office we go. Let's pick up the Wi-Fi 5 device now. Okay, Wi-Fi 5 device. I'm connected to Linksys. 866 megabits per second, right next to the router. Outside of the office, 173 megabits per second. And furthest point in the house one more time. Let's see what I'm gonna get. 26 megabits per second, very respectable, especially for a Wi-Fi 5 device considering how far it is away from the router. Okay, back to the office. Let's go now set up the VLUP system. Okay, here we go. VLUP is set up, connected through my Wi-Fi 6 device, and I'm getting 1,200 megabits per second standing right next to the router. Let's head outside and see what I'm gonna get now. And I am getting 907 megabits per second. Pretty cool. Furthest point away in the house. Let's see what I'm gonna get. Will it maintain its speed? 72 megabits per second, nothing wrong with that. Very, very useful. Head back to the office. Let's pick up the Wi-Fi 5 device and see what that gives us. Okay, VLAP system still set up. Wi-Fi 5 device in hand, connected. Fire up the trusty Wi-Fi analyzer. 866 megabits per second, right next to the router. Head back outside and what are we gonna get now? 780 megabits per second, very, very cool. Now, furthest point away from the router that I could possibly get, 13 megabits per second. This thing is just friggin' awesome. So, if you're into heavy gaming and streaming and you're going to be using a lot of the Ethernet ports, then the Hydra Pro 6 is awesome for you and you still get the beautiful Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. If you're more of a wireless kind of setup, I love the VLOP for that. It is tri-band, it looks the business and it still has those Ethernet ports, so you kind of get the best of every world, and it looks pretty cool if you leave it out in the lounge, doesn't have to be tucked away somewhere in your office. Uh, realistically speaking, for most of us, you cannot go wrong with either one of these beauties. Linksys makes it so easy to shop for your next router. And I gotta say, it's been a pretty solid upgrade for my network. So check out at Linksys on social media or go to Linksys.com. Link is in the description below. And whilst you're waiting for your Linksys to arrive, check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video. Let's go.